And we're actually here at Todd's Motor Hut. It's not the video I was going to bring you. I was going to talk about handovers. Chatting to Todd's, we both felt that a handover is a bit of a personal experience and it will vary from people to people depending on you know what, what they know and, and so on. And uh, so we thought it might be better I do a series on the basics of motorhoming and uh, where you put your electricity, how you fill up your tank and so on. So let's have a look at the Swift. So this is a Swift Escape 685 and it's on uh, an offer at 47995 at the moment. Normally 53960. That's all the specs there. So it's an under seven meter van. It's got dabber radio, uh, en route heating, 16 inch wheels. That's nice, 16 inch wheels. And it's six berths but five seat belts. Yeah, six berth, five seat belts. I'd like to see 16 inch wheels. Oh, great. And it's quite a it's quite a narrow van. You see there's not not very wide. How wide is it? 2.31 meters wide. So I think our van is something like 2.39 meters wide. No, 2.35 hours. But yeah, if you're worried about the width of a van, this is quite a good size. If you're worried about those Cornish country lanes. 130 brake horsepower engine. This is actually a six berth motor, and it's not a huge length. As you see, there's a very short overhang on the back of it. It is actually six berth. It was brand new, 2019, six berths, five seat belts, and it's fully featured, it's got dab radio, a dual fuel heating, spelt dual wrongly, <laughs> en route, uh, dual fuel heating, en route, use of heating and water sensors, the duvalet mattress. Its overall length is 6.92 metres, so it's just a tadge if that's the word, under seven meters. Seven, uh, 2.31 meters wide and 9.5 meters high. Let's have a look. You've actually got an L-shaped lounge in here. You've got your travel seats there. You've got two cushions that make up the extra sofa. And yeah, not bad. Must admit I find the headroom a bit tight in here. It's just standing up in here. Just drop down beds a bit low. Having said that, my own motorhome is the headroom is quite low. The reason being You've got a drop down bed there. So that's the first of the, the double beds. This area makes up into another bed. And at the back, you've got a lounge. And a very big lounge it is, too. Well, that's quite nice. Now, I'm told that Todd's have modified this to give you a bit more space because of there was. A big cupboard here so it makes this lounge a little bit bigger in here by removing the cupboard so what they've done is they've put the table in here so you can get your table out there and that's the one of the pedestal type tables and you've got a little cupboard there it does mean you've lost the hanging space but you've got an awful lot of cupboards in here And it makes, I suppose it makes this area quite, quite roomy. Big workspace here. 
an L shape. Okay. Nice big sink. Got the three burner gas hob with a huge gas hob at the front. And it's one of these combi ovens made by Thetford. Microwave I'm very familiar with. Lots of cupboard space there. Right, this bed wasn't all the way up, so I actually I can actually walk under here now. Actually, got a bit of head space. I was sitting here. Yeah, there's plenty of head space here. I came in here and then you bang my head, and of course the bed wasn't all the way up. So that's your first double bed. You've got an unusual arrangement here of the travel seat. Now it's actually got seat belt here so you've got a rear facing travel seat there you've got two travel seats there and obviously the two seats there which makes it five travel seats is that right one two three four five so you've got five travel seats in here but it is actually a six berth tv mounting points here Right, let's have a look at the bathroom then. It's, it's a bit of a wet room, so you've got obviously a space there. Quite a nice deep sink. Big mirror. Cupboard over there. And you've got some hanging space there actually. That's quite handy. We've done away with the wardrobe, so you have got some hanging space there. So as you could hang towels there to dry as well. You've got your, your loo there, blown air heating into here. Yeah, not bad, not bad. It's a shower curtain to close off the shower area, which is then, which is enclosed in, in plastic, and the shower curtain, because you have got a wood wall there. Let's have a look at the fridge. Fridge is a slimline fridge, reasonable size. And it's an automatic energy selection fridge as well, which is I always like to see. Oh, that's quite good. So we've got the lounge at the back. Quite a nice big lounge. Quite a big area here. Let's have a look in there. In the kitchen. It's got a double folding door here. Oh, go around the other way. Right, so you've got a cupboard, quite a big cupboard here for all your pots and pans. A little cutlery drawer there. That's quite handy. Comes out. So that's a nice big cupboard. Got some more drawers down here. Deep drawer and space under there as well. Yeah, there's plenty of cupboard space in here. These lockers are necessarily a little bit smaller because obviously they're under the bed. You've got some space under here as well, so a bit of a lip to stop things falling out. A sunroof. Usual sort of thing at the front. A Fiat, six-speed Fiat. I think it's actually got our radio there. That's the one we recognise. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad. Yeah, you've got a little table flap as well. Fly screen, all good. Truma blown air heating and Swift's panel and waste and freshwater dump valves there. Yeah, not a bad spec. Yeah, I'm just having a cup of coffee. I think the thing about these six berth fans is the payload. Everyone who watches this video is going to comment on the payload. This is a 3,500 kilogram van and I'm not sure what the payload is. I will find out and put it down there somewhere. 
but uh, you have got issues with payload. If you were taking six fully grown adults in here, I think you would really struggle with payload. But I think where this van would score would be if people are visiting you, you're on site, you know, two of you, and perhaps the kids, the grandkids are coming to stay. Uh, and you can certainly put them up in this van. Um, lots of seating area. And it's quite a nice big open area uh, for vans as well. So I was doing a bit of reversing. So yeah, so quite nice this van. Quite a, it's a nice place to have a cup of coffee anyway. Right, here's another six berth van. And this is an Auto Trail Tribute 720. Auto Trail Tribute 720. Again on 130 brake horsepower engine. Turn that down a bit. On 130 brake horsepower engine, six speed. It's just over seven meters this one. It's 2.35 meters wide, so a little bit uh, wider and a little bit higher than the Escape. This is six berth with four seats. So it's an over cab double bed. So there's a different approach to six berths here. Let's just have a quick look round. So it's on the 16 inch alloys. Sorry, on the 15 inch alloys. But they're, yeah, quite nice wheels. You see the travel seats in there. Truma blown air heating. Look inside. 130 brake horsepower engine, the Fiat. Space for the Auto Trail umbrella there. Nice big bin. Step, a couple of steps up, and we're in. Yeah, so as far as the travel seats go, we're familiar with this layout. Notice this one's got a, a extending part. Oh, that's quite good. Extends the table out, so you can sit here. No, that's good. I like that. It's difficult doing these one-handed. Yeah, a little catch underneath, so you can turn it round. That's quite neat. I like that. I think the seat backs are a little bit upright. I confess, we'll see what they like to sit in. Oh, well, not bad. So the one advantage of this is that you, you've got your head is actually on the headrest. But I think I'd want a cushion under my back there. Let's have a look. What else we've got here? We've got a big bed, big double bed in the overcab. I'm going to need a ladder to get into it. I'm guessing that this area would make up into a bed as well. So I suppose if you made up in, into a bed, you wouldn't need the ladder to get in there. But you do benefit from this sort of overcab layout that, that you haven't got a drop down bed. So you know what a fan I am of drop down beds, particularly electric ones. Um, I think this gives you a lot of cupboard space. Moving further down the van to cupboard space got somewhere to store your cushions so I mean obviously you use those cushions to make up this bed but that is a big big wardrobe area a big hanging space I'm still still surprised to see the fire but I you know, see the ultra heat fire but people do like those bathroom that's quite surprising actually a bit of a TARDIS bathroom that it looks it doesn't look big from the outside but you've got a nice big shower cubicle a sensible size sink toilet and a big um, fly screen sunroof thing above towel rail 
nowhere to hang your wet towels, unfortunately, but I suppose you can always add that. Right, I'll see if I can do this in a circular fashion then. So here's the lounge at the back. I guess these seats are about four feet wide. Yeah, quite nice. So this would be the other bed. There's space for a table there. I should put another table here. All that. And that does it. Eh? All right, well, that's clever. <laughs> so that's how you make it up. Pull the slats out and then pull the cushions. That's really neat. go back in there and you clip that back in place very clever it saves having to have like, like the pull out bits and you've got a, quite a bit of space underneath and under there as well yeah that's good you've got a, a vent up there rather than a sunroof but notice you've also got a vent up there as well. Right, so since we're here, have a look at the kitchen. Three burner hob, combi oven, cupboard underneath. Another cupboard there, that's quite a lot of cupboard space. A nice little cutlery drawer. I do like a nice cutlery drawer. We've got three electric points in here. You can never have too many electric points. That's great. Dayu microwave. And I guess this is where your pots and pans, yeah, your, your plates go. These cupboards are quite interesting because they've got like a catch under here. As you pull out. Square sink, big sink. It is a big sink and a lot of space here. Yeah, a lot of space for the kitchen there. I would say that fridge is a little bit small if you're feeding six people, in my thought. Like I always say, everything in a motorhome is a bit of a compromise. You give a bit more extra space one place and you lose space somewhere else. Yeah. I'll find out the payload on this one as well. I'm sure I'm going to get asked that question. But yeah, I quite like this. It's good. Lots of used stock here as well as new. There's always plenty to see here. And they're always very friendly and very helpful. So if you are interested in having a look at some motowns, Come and have a look at Todd's. I'll put the address up at the bottom of the screen so you can have a look, see where they are. I'll put their website on there. Right, that's it for now. Uh, if you like what you see, give us a, a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notifications icon and you'll get updates when we release another video. Mm -hmm.